Hi, my name is Evan Turk, and I am the author and illustrator of The Storyteller. And today I'm going to walk you through one of the techniques that I use to make the artwork for the book. So the art in the book uses indigo, which is a natural pigment, and it's derived from plants. It has a very long history in Morocco and Japan and all over the world. And so here I'm using the powder mixed with water to create an ink. This tool is called a Kelani pen, and it is used to make large-scale Arabic calligraphy. And the way that I used it in the illustrations in the book is to dip it in this indigo ink and use it to draw and make large shapes that look and feel like that Arabic calligraphy. The next step is to brew some tea. So first I boil some water. Then I add a lot of sugar. Then I steep the tea. And once it's ready, I can paint with this very sugary mixture. It doesn't look like anything's going on the page because the tea doesn't have a lot of pigment. So once it's dry, the next step is fire. So I turn on the stove and I hold the drawing over an open flame. And what happens next is kind of magical where the indigo turns from this dark purplish blue into a bright turquoise the longer it's over the heat. And the places where I've painted with the tea start to fade when they're overlapping the indigo and start to turn darker and darker brown where they're on the white paper because the sugar in the tea starts to caramelize and burn the longer it's held over the fire. You have to be a little careful to make sure that your paper doesn't catch on fire, so you have to promise me that you will not try to do this without the supervision of an adult. This technique is actually something that I learned while I was in Morocco doing research for this book. I met these artists who were creating these invisible paintings, and then they would hold them over the fires so that people could watch as the images appeared. And I was so amazed and I told them that I was an artist and they taught me the technique and we shared a pot of tea and I was so excited to learn from them and I couldn't wait to get home so that I could try and use this technique for the illustrations in the book.